Hello students, in this video we'll discuss how to find the PDF of the sum of two independent random variables. Let's suppose that x and y are independent and jointly distributed. With PDF, with a joint PDF, f of x times g of y. And we recall that since the random variables are independent, their joint probability density function is the product of their individual probability density functions. Then consider the random variable z, which is the sum of the random variable x and the random variable y. What we'll do is we'll find then the CDF cumulative density function of z is given by the formula f sub z of t is the probability that z is less than or equal to t and z, by definition, is x plus y less than or equal to t. And what we'll do is we can look at this equation over here and say, what region is this in the xy plane? And so now what we'll do is we'll draw the xy plane and sketch this region. So if here's my x-axis and here's my y-axis, then x plus y equals t is a line whose slope is negative 1 and whose intercept is t. So this is the line x plus y is equal to t. All right, and now we know that x plus y is less than or equal to t. So what's our region of integration? Our region of integration is x plus y less than t is this area right down over here. And so now what we have is we can write this as a double integral. So this will be the double integral. In this region, x goes between negative infinity and infinity. And y goes between negative infinity up to t minus x. Negative infinity up to t minus x. And then what we'll have is we'll have a, we'll put our PDF here. So I'll have an f of x, a g of y, dy, dx. And so this is the formula for our cumulative distribution function of z. Now we can observe over here that what we have is we can write this in terms of this integral of y, of g of y dy, is really the integral from negative infinity to infinity of fx. And then this will be g capital y evaluated at t minus x, where that is the CDF of y dx. And so now if we want to find the PDF, we can differentiate this formula. So if I take the derivative of this formula, so f z t is d by dt of f capital z t. So remember that the derivative with respect to t of the CDF is equal to the PDF. So the derivative of the CDF is always the PDF. And now we can write this as d by dt of this formula, the integral from negative infinity to infinity, the integral from negative infinity up to t minus x of f of x g of y dy dx. And by the fundamental theorem of calculus, I'll do the derivative of this innermost integral with respect to t. And we'll see that this formula will simplify to the integral from negative infinity to infinity. The f of x stays put. I have f of x. And then I'm going to have g of t minus x dx. And so this is our PDF. So in other words, the PDF of the sum, f of x plus y as a function of t, is the integral from negative infinity to infinity of the PDF 
of the x random variable at x, the PDF of the y random variable at the point t minus x dx. And this expression over here is the whole line convolution of the PDFs fx and gy. In future videos, we'll see examples of computing this convolution and finding formulas for the sum of two random variables. Thank you very much.